Okay, church, we got cut off there, but we got taken care of it. Amen. But I'm going to put these last two um, messages in. Amen. Because it's so important. It says... That as it is written in the scripture that I am making you a father of many nations. This is true before God. The God of Abraham believed. The God who gives life to the dead and who creates something out of nothing. So you know what church? I don't know what you are believing for. But I believe that what you believe and your faith in God that God will activate this over your life. Amen. I want to see this word go viral in Jesus' mighty name. And I'm going to wrap it up with a couple more since I'm coming in on this on another intake. Amen. Um, I'm reading there out of the book of Romans there in chapter 5. I'm going to pick it up there on 2. I'm asking you to read Romans chapter 4 going into verse 5. What are you believing and what is your faith based on? Amen. Sin came into the world because of that one man did. And with sin came death. So you can say that sin equals the death. This is why everyone must die because everyone sinned. You know what? Everyone is going to die. Amen. At one place or another within our lives, we are are not eternal in these bodies but we are eternal in the spirit i just said a word there we will be eternally in heaven i'm just trying to be real are eternally in hell i'm just making it real amen there's no middle grounds are you listening to me church you ain't gonna turn into no butterfly you ain't gonna turn into no dog not going to turn into a cat. Amen. No. It's either eternally in the spirit. No longer out of this body. You ain't going to another body. Amen. Eternally into heaven or eternally into hell. This is why everyone must die because everyone sinned. Sin was in the world before the law of Moses. But sin is not counted against us. As breaking a commandment when there was no law. In other words, those that sinned, even from the very beginning, there wasn't any laws that were set up. Amen. But as time came upon the life of Moses, amen, God began to use the life of Moses to bring forth what? The written, the written of the law. Amen. And then, of course, we know the Sadducees. And the, and, the, and the Pharisees begin to add more upon that law. Amen. Uh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't do that. And it's just like, okay, then we can't do nothing. Amen. Uh, I believe they added up, I believe, to 298 or 398 more laws upon the law that was given. Amen. So they were just making sure that they obtained this righteousness of holiness, amen, and um, they're the only ones that could obtain of going in into the holies of holies, which we know that not to be true, we know that the veil was ripped, come on now, through the grace of God, through the blood of Jesus, amen, that we have access to God, amen, to the precious throne of of God we have access now prayer worship amen and just praise and lifting up God hallelujah and that's a whole nother teaching amen sticking to the word that is why everyone must die because everyone has sin sin was in the world before the law of Moses but sin is not counted against us as breaking a commandment when there was no law but from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, everyone had to die. What? Everyone had to die. Even those who had not sinned by breaking a commandment as Adam did. Amen. So it's showing the life of Adam because Adam was a portrait. Amen. 
of what Jesus, when he came upon the world, it was a portrayal. Amen. But it's saying that everyone had to die, even those who had not sinned by breaking a commandment. In other words, the commandment were not yet given birth. Amen. It says, Adam was like the one who was coming in the future. There we go. As God's free gift. It's a free gift. Amen. We're not in the religion of the doo-doo gospel. Amen. In other words, I've got to do because even our doo-doo list is as filthy rags before the Lord. Amen. It says the free gift is not like Adam's sin. Many people died because of the sin of that one man. Amen. But the grace, say that with me, but the grace from God was much more greater and as you see i love working with my hands amen much more greater many people receive god's god's what free gift of life by the grace of this one man whom is jesus christ can we say thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you god thank you lord for the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen, who is the Son of the living God, hallelujah. After Abraham, excuse me, after Adam sinned once, he was judged guilty. So every time we sin, what? There will be the sin and the sin of guiltiness, amen. That's the reason why we feel bad. Why? Because now the spirit when we've come before god we have that sense of guiltiness or shame or you know what i'm i'm sinful i'm sinful we're gonna have that that judgmental spirit amen but that's where we can be convicted amen convicted by the holy spirit amen we know that we sin we don't need the brother or sister to point out our sin. Hey, we have sin. You know what? We need to pray. We need to pray for our brothers and sisters. For those who have sinned. I don't want to have a critical spirit. Amen. And be all judgmental. Come on now. And saying, you know what, Lord? Have grace. Have grace upon your people. Amen. And we ask the Holy Spirit. We get convicted by the Holy Spirit. Which then brings conversion upon our lives. That's the reason why we come before the throne. You know, we ask the Lord for the forgiveness of our sin. To make us right. To make us cleanse. To make us whole. Amen. And that, what, removes our guilt. That's where we feel free now. And we, we're able to thank the Lord. But the gift of God is different. God's gift is free. It it's free it's a free gift it came after many 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 sins amen and it makes people right with god there's your belief amen and there is your faith that mix in the mix mixture amen that makes us right with god and what God is word is saying. That's the reason why when we go to church, when we have these different issues and, and we're we're not feeling that very good, we're not feeling right, but we get into the the the, the body of Christ and the word begins to wash us, it begins to cleanse us. It could be just that one word and boom, you know what? That that sin and that shame and that guilt. It breaks off of your life. That yoke breaks off of your life. But you feel free. You feel, thank you, Lord. You know, I just, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I can, I can go on with my life. Amen. I can do what I feel like the Lord has led me to do. Amen. Why? Because God has broken. Amen. That sense of guilt. That sense of, of shame. Amen. And God has come where we, where he has given us a free gift. Amen. It says, one man sinned, and so death ruled all people because of one man. But now, 
now, now, say now, but now, now, those people who accept God's full grace. See, we have to accept what God has given. It's just like this gift. If I'm giving you a gift right now, amen, if I'm giving you a gift, you have to receive it. It's just like this pen. If I have this gift of this pen right here, okay, you know what? You got to take it. Can you get it? Can you get it? Okay, did you get it? Praise God. So, if you got the pen, I don't know, I no longer have it, you've received it. You have it. Amen. And that's the way God is saying that we have to accept God's full grace over our life. That's what we believe. And that is our faith. Amen. That the great gift of being made right with Him will surely have its true life. Amen. So, what what a, a revelational word that was given me here today is that when we receive God's full grace, full grace, we have truly received God's true life. Amen. And that's where we have peace within our life and rule through one man. Amen. Through one man, not of sickness, not of disease, not the ruling man of shame, not the ruling man of guilt, of always having a guilty conscience. No. You know what? We have a true life whom is through this one man because he came in as the man in flesh, incarnate, amen, as there in the book of John says, in the flesh, Jesus Christ. So he knows what we're going to walk through. He knows what we're going to go through. He knows all these different situations and scenarios, what's in our mind, what's in our heart, what's happening even upon our bodies. You know what? God has made us right here today. I wrote down sin equals to death. Amen. But the grace of God, grab, grab a hold of this today. When you grab a hold of grace, it will lead you then to what? The true life of Christ. And that looks like a heart. Amen. <laughs> That's the heart of God. Amen. So with that church, I'm going to release you. Amen. Um, I will be receiving calls in today. Amen. If you are needing a prayer of deliverance here today, I want to pray with you here today. Uh, or go into messenger. Amen. You know, we've been on uh, this, uh, uh, I guess, this process right now, uh, praying and fasting. Amen. And so, you know what? We are praying and fasting for you. I believe in deliverance over your life. Even through this word of God, get into the first teaching. Get into the first teaching. Amen. This is just the cream de la cream. Amen. That that came that came in. Amen. From some roots of the word of God. I know that God gave me this word today. And I know that it's broken chains off of your life. If it is done so today, I want to hear the victory. Amen. The victory shouts that, you know what? As I receive this word of God, you know what? God did this to me. I want to be able to package these things. Amen. And promote those things through all of our social media. If God has healed you through this ministry. If God has blessed you maybe through a job or a house or a car or a healing upon your body. A healing in your relationship. You know what? I want to hear what God has been doing in your life through you receiving this word of God. And so church with that, God bless you. Don't forget you're able to make it to the website to make any amount of donation. Or I will be publishing out there the PayPal Me account, amen, that goes directly into the account, amen, that you can be a blessing towards this ministry and, uh, and being able to, um, to take care of uh, all of our administration level. At this point right now, I said, Lord, I released it to you and I'm giving it to you, amen, and that through those who have been receiving this word of God, that they can plant 
their seeds of faith in this ministry. And if you say, you know what, I haven't been going into any church and this has been the ministry that I've been listening to because we are well as are on our speaker family, amen, then I want to see you sowing a seed, your tithes and your offerings, amen. Now, if you go to church, you already know, you tithe into your church, amen and and your offerings but if you say you know what i prayed about it and god has led me to give towards this ministry amen we are at each church at this point and at this time amen uh through all our groups amen through the prayer mountain church amen of all those through nigeria and all those that we are in connected to know that god is doing a work we are still going out planting those seeds of faith Sister Tina in the in the the head front, Amen. Singing and praising God, and also too leading there in praise and worship. And so know that your seed is planted and good ground here today. Thank you again for your prayers and your support towards this ministry, Amen. So that we can continually to reach the world, Amen. I'm telling you, there is life, there is grace and true life upon your life today. And I want to get that praise report in here today. So church, we love you. Thank you for podcasting with me. And, and I'm going to tell you this, this is just a, a little uh, uh, more cream of the cream. This is the topper, amen. Pray in the Holy Spirit. When you say, you know what, I don't know what's going on. I want to, to challenge you to pray in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray in the Holy Spirit. If you say, you know what, I've never done this speaking in the tongues. You know what, you can message me. We can pray and be in agreement that God will give you this endowment of this power through this wonder working power of the Holy Spirit. We need it. This is the time we need the Holy Spirit. Amen. So be praying in the Spirit. Let God do the work. Amen. He's going to work those things out for you. He's going to open doors. Amen. That no man can open. And He's going to shut those doors. Amen. Because I want only that one door that God will lead us and guide us and hide us and protect us. And you know what? This is to open up the windows of heaven that God can so pour the blessing down upon your life here today. So we love you, church. God bless you. Thank you for all my Facebook family, friends, all those that are connecting me with on the group, the Lions team and club. Amen. And todo ustedes que hablan español, I'm going to try to go back in there. Amen. Hey, look up Julian Biesca. Amen. He is doing our Spanish uh, speaking ministry. And so connect there as well. Amen. On Facebook. Thank you for connecting with me. Tina Viesca. Amen. On different platforms of our social media. Amen. Ministry. And as well, Cruzando Fronteras con una voz de alerta. Until next time, church. God bless you. We love you. Until then. Hey!